What's up boys? Today I'm going to be checking out the Spell Brigade demo for the next fest, an upcoming Bullet Heaven that I believe has up to 4 player co-op. So we've got some Astral Orbeez here, some Moonerangs, a Necro Whirl, or a Solar Pulse. The Moonerang sounds pretty funny for me, so let's try out this guy. Oh yeah, you can see up to 4 slots over there. So, no stat screens or anything yet. Doesn't seem like there's a dash. I am quite slow right now as well. Seems like movement speed is going to be pretty important to get at some point here. Looks like it just hits the closest enemy, so I'm going to want to group them up and... try and get a big AoE off with that. Range also seems a bit short at the start. This weapon seems like it has a bit of a rough start, to be honest. If I can get some decent AoE now with them grouping up. Just takes forever to kill anything right now. Feels like I've been AoEing them for like a year at this point and I still don't even have level 2 yet. But some year in the future I will eventually hit level 2 and then I'll be unstoppable. All cooldown, 6% damage, spell range, that sounds cool for the boomerang. But I'm not really killing that much faster and level 3 is probably going to take even longer. Man, it would be so cool if we could actually get like a really good bullet heaven that has co-op in it. I just haven't really seen any upcoming ones that people are super excited about yet. Big spell damage, absolutely. I guess maybe Vampire Survivors. They did add co-op a while ago, but I just haven't really been super interested in it. I did check out one of the DLCs, I think, towards the start of the year, but that was the first time I had played it in a while, and it didn't feel like it had aged that well to me. The newer bullet heavens usually have some more active elements to them, and it just didn't really feel like I could influence the game that much when I was playing. Find and close the rifts. So it looks like that's just a timer for standing on it. Does it fully reset? Nope, it just slowly goes down if you leave the area. We've got some sluggy boys now. This is actually going to be hard to stand on. Let's get some decent cooldown. I'm assuming that's tagged as a spell. Can I even stand on that? Maybe I can lure them away and hopefully not lose too much progress and then finish it? I feel like I'm just gonna die if I take all those hits right now. But thankfully it goes down pretty slowly. Got a new spell finally. Astral Orbs, Necro Whirl, or Phantom Blades. Um, large energy zones. That sounds good with the spell range I've gotten, I guess. Assuming that it works on every spell, it would probably increase the area of that. So I have just upgrades for the Necro Whirl. I guess I'll try some duration for that.
Is it ever going to cast anything? Oh, there we go. Was that the first one? So I guess you just get a little bit of extra XP for the objectives, it seems like. percent spell cooldown. Yeah, the game definitely needs like a stat screen where you can see all your various stats and hover over the spells to learn more about them. That's like one of the more basic things that you're missing right now. Damage, sure. Boomerang still seems pretty bad. Maybe there will be like a high rarity plus one boomerang upgrade or something. like objectives could come a bit faster as well. There doesn't really seem to be anything to look around for. Kind of just sitting in one spot, not really doing a whole lot here. some spell range to try and hit a bit more often since my AoE seems quite small right now. Defeat enemies inside the circle. I'm not seeing any- oh it's on the circle itself where the progress is. Looks like it's the enemies themselves that have to be inside the circle. Not me. So I need another six levels to get my third spell unlocked. Oh, those are the same levels as DRG Survivor. Let's see if I can get a quick level up off of all of these XP orbs. 10% damage, I guess. I haven't seen a single thing that would let me heal yet, either. This one might take a while. Haven't seen any movement speed increases yet either, and that would be pretty helpful. Oh, well, it's four percent. I honestly might take ten percent spell cooldown, that seems pretty big even though that's rare.
this objective might take quite a while. Oh, they can actually damage each other with that explosion. Ooh, big spell cooldown. Your spell with fire. If you could actually tell me what that does when you hover over it, like I'm assuming that's a damage over time and then lightning maybe does AoE damage or something. So I guess we will try some lightning here. Yeah, it seems like there's a little bit of an arcing effect as it hits them. Well, it's not quite so pathetic for AoE damage now, at least. But I could still use some more area on it, I think. Yeah, I can't hover over it. There's nothing on this screen. All cooldowns by 12%? Absolutely. Spell cooldown? Sure. Oh, that's for that specific thing, isn't it? Oops. So we finally got a new spell. Magical sword, daggers, or the power of the sun. Sure. Oh, I have garlic now, okay. Maybe not the best weapon for my build. A lot of new enemies over there. That might be a mini boss, the giant crab. Power of the Sun, interestingly, does not seem to be burning them or anything, though. Or it not even giving them skin cancer or anything. It just seems to be doing physical damage. So there's more of them now. I guess it's just a regular, fairly big enemy. All damage or Moonerang cooldown. Let me get the all damage rare, I think. size on solar pulse so those are both for specific skills probably just want to take the global damage then although the duration on the necro whirl would be pretty solid it's like one minute left now or is that for the survive thing that might actually be what it is You know, actually getting the lightning effect on the Necro Whirl probably would have been insane since it's just sitting there constantly hitting them. Same with the solar power thing. Okay, that's an enemy effect it looks like. Either that or I just missed something over there. 10% range. Why is that one blue? Oh, I guess the lightning enchant on it. Ah. Uh... I guess we'll pump that since it has the coolest effect so far. Thirty-five percent health or fifteen percent range on the moon ring. I'll try that. Solar Pulse, I guess probably the global upgrade. K 
Can you re-roll every time, actually? Ooh, rare movement speed. I will snag that. Need to remember there's a bunch of XP up there after I do this. That would be a lot to leave behind. This might be pretty rough. Honestly, let me grab the XP first, I think. I'm gonna need a bit of a boost to try and pull that rift off. I should be able to get another level and hopefully that'll be enough now. Then again, there could just be so many enemies that I can't even move now. percent health versus pretty weak upgrades. I'll try it. Brings me back to the starting amount. I just don't see a way that I can do the rift now. I've mainly focused this one pretty weak skill in the boomerang it seems like. I don't see any possible way I would have enough time to finish that right now. Like maybe if I had gotten the solar power thing early on and scaled that up a ton, that might have been enough. But I can barely move now. I guess more moon rig. <laughs> Too late to stop now. Yeah, I guess you just get a bit of XP from them anyway, so not really worth risking it. Rare movement speed, I'll definitely take that. This would be much easier to pull off in a co-op game. You'd have one person standing on it and then a bunch of people distracting them for you. I just don't see how I could ever do this. Boomerangs are just not cutting it. All cooldowns? Absolutely. It seems like the solar thing is just casting every time it's off cooldown, so cooldown should scale the hit speed on that. Golden spherical projections, a short range, highly concentrated magical sword. Let me try the Astral Orbs, I think. Looks like that's just a fast-hitting one-target weapon. And the sound effect for it is pretty repetitive as well.
Necro Whirl or Solar Polis. Let's see what else there is. Ooh, big movement speed. Definitely. If I could get more of the enchantments for that, that would be cool. Moonring cooldown, sure. It seems like the most interesting thing for the game that I've seen so far, but I've only gotten one of them and this much time. Well, I am making a tiny amount of progress on the rift now. Just another 30 minutes or so and I might be able to finish it. The movement speed upgrades have been helping quite a bit. Another moon ring? I guess so. Oh! I'm level 28. I'm not sure if that does anything. Creating Thunder or Plasma? Thunder is typically like deafening enemies? I don't know what it would be in this game. I have no idea. I'll try some Plasma. Looks like that's an even stronger chaining effect through them. So my AoE looks to be even better now. Looks like it puts a debuff on them, which then causes the lightning effects constantly while they're still alive and have the debuff on them. Seems like a pretty solid upgrade. Moonerang? Oh, that's just the effect for the plasma, but yeah, I'll focus that. It also seems to be hitting a single target as well. Spell duration on Necro Whirl. Probably too late now that I have two elemental upgrades on that, and they seem pretty rare. So, all in on the Moon Ring at this point. Soulfish, the long one. 10% damage, it's not that interesting. It would be cool if I could get some cooldown for it or some range. Probably not. I think I'm just going for the rare fall damage here. Where the long boy at? Well, he doesn't seem to be doing anything, and I have plenty of movement speed now. Oh, that was probably his little rock thing dropping from the sky.
so it seems like there's a bit of a shadow following me as it's charging up. Let's try and find a Moonerang or a global upgrade. 9% movement speed, sure. I'm just trying to hit the boss as much as possible here, which is not that often with how weird the boomerang is. I can at least get some of the plasma chaining effects if I'm hitting enemies near him. Or maybe I can just isolate him and they'll always target him. Ah, uh, that might be bad. I'm gonna try and get out of here so I don't take too much damage. Yeah, it seems like if I just run on the outer edge like that, then they can come in a pattern where I can't avoid them at that point. More Moonerang. More Moonerang. Looks like they actually go through the terrain there, thankfully. Yeah, the Moonerang still seems pretty bad. It's basically just the plasma effect carrying me here. Doing all that AoE and chaining damage on everything in there. Quest complete, the Verdant Meadows, first grade. 784,000. The level 4, no special upgrades, Necro World did over half of the damage still. And Astral Orbs actually weren't that bad for a very late single target spell. So did I unlock anything from that? Doesn't seem like it. I could try a full Necro World build maybe? Or a full Solar Pulse. The guy gets health and range. Spell size and duration would be very good though. I'll try a full garlic build and see what happens. So I'm mainly going to want to get some plus size here for the solar thingy so that I'm not quite in melee range. Spell damage rate, sure. Let's see if there's anything better here. So it looks like there's one free reroll per level. Let's get the damage. I'm just going to try and get to a point where I can AFK kill everything with the aura. Ooh, there we go, 25% spell size. It 
feels like the game is kind of missing anything, like, really interesting to build around. Like, something that gives you damage based on your movement speed or HP or something. Let's get the Necro Whirl, since that's basically just a ranged version of my aura for the second weapon. The Bullet Heavens, where you can get damage based on your movement speed, are some of the most fun builds I've ever played in these. Thirty-five percent HP. Eh, I'll see what else there is. We can get spell damage on the Solar Pulse. Twenty minutes till dawn had some really cool movement scaling stuff. Where the faster you're moving, you can like light a lot of enemies on fire. I think the throwing dagger had some cool stuff as well. Spell damage rate, sure. See if I can get something higher. Spell duration that's a necro world. That's not very helpful. Oh well. Solar pulse damage rate, sure. Fire or lightning? Well, I guess we gotta try the fire on the solar pulse. Although I think lightning would be extremely good on it. Yeah, it looks like it applies a minor dot. Looks like a third of the damage for a second or two after I leave the area. It doesn't seem like it stacks though, which means it's probably not very good on the Solar Pulse. Because I'm just going for very fast hits. Eh, oh well, maybe the second upgrade will make it more interesting. Exploders might be a bit of an issue unless I can get some more size on it. Spell damage or rate, I'll take the rare. Okay, so that did scale the dot, so it just seemed to be a third of the damage. have to keep the explosions max range and kind of whittle them down to the dot here. Their explosion is almost as big as my pulse right now. Those are both Necro Whirl. Nah. All cooldowns, that's fine. I 
I wasn't even in that explosion. I guess. I wasn't in that one either. inside the circle again. more size, I could definitely use that for the pulse. Oh, that actually lasted a pretty long time on that guy. Seems like more of a ranged weapon thing than if it lasts that long. It's not doing that much on such a short range thing currently. A hard hitting long range weapon would do a lot of work with that. Astral Orbs, Broadsword, or Phantom Blades. Let's try the short range Arcane Broadsword. Nope. All cooldowns? Sure. That's not bad, but that's probably better. Spell size, sure. I can't really see how much the broadsword is doing because the number spam from the solar pulse is just covering it up.
big spell damage. Don't mind if I do. Wildfire or plasma? Well, I did that last time, so we are definitely trying wildfire this time. I'm guessing that will spread between nearby enemies? No. Maybe it's when they die then? No. Not sure. It does seem to be doing half of the damage now instead of a third. Spell damage. I'd rather have range or cooldown if I can, I think. Necro World, nah. I guess all damage. Actually, with the Fire Dot, straight damage is better than cooldown since that'll scale the dot a bit. So, range and damage are probably my best stats here. Spell size. There's so many explodey guys, I don't know if I can even get over there. Spell size, absolutely. hard to hit the boss with this build though. I guess the dot should stay on him for a while though. More damage. Damage, not bad. Element system 
kind of incentivizes you to hyper focus one skill. Since you're getting very little benefits from leveling multiple things at the same time. Four hundred sixty-eight thousand two seventy-five at level two, so it seems like Necro Oral is probably one of the better skills, and the two that I focused might have been a bit on the weaker side, but we still managed to complete both runs, which is I guess all the content in the game currently, but it could be a lot more fun with a team to play with. Not sure. Having the extra size and duration for that skill as well would make it really strong. Outfits, so some sort of customization for the appearance later on. But I guess that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.